Hey guys, Sean from Charleston Crafted here, and we just bought our house and it is full of popcorn ceilings. But we don't like that because this is 2016 and we need to get rid of it. Our bedroom kind of looks like a scene from Dexter right now, but I promise there's not going to be any blood splatter, just a little bit of a popcorn ceiling. So the first thing you want to do when scraping a popcorn ceiling is to prep the area. What you're going to want to do is get it wet. Now you want to be make sure that it's not just a little spritz, but fairly wet. Uh, so that you can, so that the, the popcorn ceiling stuff will just fall right off. Um, the best thing we've learned to do is to use a little sprayer uh, that's typically used to spray poison or something like that um, in your yard. Uh, and, but this is this works really well. So you're going to prime your, your thing up, and usually it's best to work in about a five foot by five foot area. So I'm just going to show you how to do it here uh, in this uh, right here on this popcorn ceiling. Trigger here. And you literally just spray. This isn't a very exciting part of a bit for a video. You can't see much, but uh, water comes out. And you really just want to, like I said, make sure that you get the area fairly wet and try to work in about a four foot or five foot by five foot area um, at any given time. Don't spray too much uh, of an area. You know, it'll just dry and get hard again. You'll have to do it. You'll have to spray it again anyway. Okay, so after you've sprayed your ceilings, you want to wait like three or five minutes to make sure that it really has had time to set. You don't want to wait too much longer or it'll dry again, like I said. So we have uh, this thing here, it's a popcorn ceiling scraper. And basically what you do is you run this along the edge at like a 15 degree angle on the ceiling right here. And most of this popcorn ceiling stuff will actually fall right into this trash bag here. So it makes cleanup a much, much easier process. You're still going to have stuff on the ground, but this makes it a lot easier. So like I said, basically, you want to take this and run it at about a 15 degree angle. If you go too sharp like this, you're just going to dig into the drywall. Uh, so you want to take it about as close to flat as possible. And you're just going to press. And you can see all the stuff falling into the bag there. And you want to make sure that you're getting as close uh, to the drywall as possible. Try not to do what I did right there. You'll just have to sand that down. That's just scraping the drywall. Um, not too big a deal, but try not to dig too much into it. But you're going to have to use a hand scraper to get in along the edges. So, See how it looks when it's coming at you here. How you can see how it falls off. 